Hey everybody, Andrew here, and welcome to my very unprofessional unboxing of the Masters of the Universe Classics Castle Grayskull. As you can see before you, it's so big, it takes up the entire review desk that I use for, well, all my reviews. And you can see a portion of my DVD collection that I have on each side, so that gives you an idea of just how big this box is. And if that's not enough for you, you can see Fisto down there on the bottom, hanging out, just for scale, to help give you an idea of just how big this box is. This sucker is scary, scary huge, and I love that. <laughs> so let's open this bad boy up and check out what's inside and see just how well Mattel has packed this playset for the most intact and safest delivery. So here we go, and just for this special occasion, I'm going to use my big boy knife. Don't play with knives, kids. Don't play with knives. They're very, very dangerous. Leave that to professional idiots like me, okay? Thank you. And unfortunately, maybe a big knife, but it's dull. So <laughs> it may not be the best choice after all. There we go. Don't cut that way. That's that's not how you cut. So cut away from you, not towards you. But the heck with it. I live dangerously. And this thing is a big big feller so big that I'm a little afraid of using it to be honest with you the knife away so I don't kill myself by accident. Oh my lord, this thing is huge. All right. Okay, what we got on top right off the bat is the Masters of the Universe Warriors and Villains. This is all the characters and figures that have come out, basically. It would have been nice if they would have included the artwork of the Castle Grayskull itself, the box art that is. And it helps if I have this right side up. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. It's got all the figures that has ever been released in the Masters of the Universe Classics line thus far, I would assume. There will be more, so this... Uh, Collector's chart is essentially going to be incomplete, but that's okay. It's nice that they included it. Thank you, Mattel. You're so sweet. Now on to the big stuff here. There you have it right here. The top of the box is right here. And there's absolutely no protective padding whatsoever around the box. This box, that is. To keep it from getting dinged up or anything like that. Fortunately, mine... My shipping box came in in very good shape. There's only a couple minor teeny tiny dings and dents here and there, but I'm worried about shipping overseas and things like that. Um, this is this is form fitted. This is right up against. There's nothing there, so it's it's so tight that I can't even pull it out of the box. I'm still struggling with it, which you won't see in the video since. I'll be editing that part out. <sighs> All right, it's free and upside down. So we'll fix that. After much pain and suffering, there is Castle Grayskull. Finally, in reality, 
Sorry guys, the camera is off the tripod because the box is so huge, so I apologize for the shakiness. But I want to show you the damage here from shipping. So you got some creases there. You got a crease running down inside of the box there. The edge is pretty smooth on the top. You got Castle Grayskull along with various uh, accessories included in the whole thing on the top. Um, this corner, yeah, it did pretty well. I can't complain about that at all. That, that, that did nicely. This edge, I'm satisfied with. This part took a hit. Another crease along the back here. This edge is pretty smooth, nice and crisp. You've got the, and again, sorry for the shadows. I don't have my uh, studio lights that I use for recording on because this thing is just so large. And this is an unboxing video, so um, yeah. Uh, this corner did pretty well. Okay, here's the box on the bottom. This is the bottom of the box. As you can see, it's upside down. Um, this corner did pretty well. This side did pretty well. This corner is acceptable. Kind of got a little crunch there, but that could just be packaging. Uh, did pretty well here. Did it? Did it? Did it? Yeah, it's fine here. Um, that's fine. It's weird that it did better on the bottom of the box than it did on the top of the box. Uh, edge is fine here, right there, but oddly enough, the, the bottom of the box fared better than the top, so, but all the sides are smooth, as far as I can tell, uh, there's a little bit of a crease here, but I showed that earlier, uh, not too bad, but otherwise, the whole, the whole face of the Box is good. The back of the box feels feels right. Feels good. And yeah, that's that's about it. So considering that this thing had pretty much zero packaging material in between this box and the shipping box, it fared okay. And it traveled for me about a thousand miles. So That'll give you an indication. Uh, I hope yours comes out better than mine. I hope yours arrives. If you ordered a Castle Grayskull, I hope yours arrives in excellent condition and without any problems. So thanks for watching this unboxing. I know it was kind of crazy and wild with all the woo -woo -woo angles, but um, and seeing stuff you don't really care about. Um, but hey. If you want me to review this, please comment on the bottom, and I shall do so. I think I will review him. I kind of want to because he's so big, and this thing's huge, and I just can't help myself. So, hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!